Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Naya Legends here in Standard. So we had a donation deck, or I had a donation to bring this deck back. Um, hey, fight whales with my fists with that resub there. Thanks to Santa Yud. Thanks, Santa Yud. So we played this deck uh, probably about a week ago or so, four or five days, maybe, maybe around five days, and we didn't do very well with it. So we're switching up a whole lot of stuff and trying it out again. So one major thing about these Legends decks is that one of the key cards to them has, of course, been Urza's Ruinous Blast. That's why I call them Legends decks, because we're built, building around the Legends Legendary Sorcery. Um, and... Like, there's just a lot of decks that, that like, the Urza's Ruinous Blast would just exile all their permanents and it is, like, a really key card of the deck. However, these days, there's just tons of Planeswalkers everywhere, and Urza's Ruinous Blast value has gone down by quite a bit. So I'm moving that over to the sideboard. So we're still going to bring it in against, like, the Wild Growth Walker decks to exile all the Explore creatures and Wild Growth Walkers and stuff like that. And against, like, Mono White to exile, like, all of their things. But uh, we're going to have, like, more threats in the five mana slot. And because of that, because now we have like even more Planeswalkers, more legendary creatures, all of that, I'm going with Kamal's Juridic Vow. Going with the fourth one, sorry. Going with all four Kamal's Juridic Vow. So that's what we are. We're, we are a Kamal's Juridic Vow deck. We want to vow early. We want to vow often and just just basically regurgitate a bunch of uh, creatures and Planeswalkers onto the battlefield. So that's that's our goal. Like This card is... is Certainly really powerful, and that's our goal. And so we have tons of different ones also, so we're not hitting the same Planeswalkers and creatures all the time. So you can tell that there's no, like, two ofs in there. The other thing that not playing Urza's Ruinous Blast allows us to do is to play more mana creatures. So it, we're playing Paradise Druid in here as well, so that we have our seven mana creatures that we don't have to worry about them getting exiled to the Ruinous Blast. So we have some more uh, of those to play on at turn two. But yeah, there, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and, and give it a try. Um, a one of for Arkbo. Arkbo's pretty... In, yeah, Arkbo's okay. We don't have, like, a ton of creatures, though. That's the thing. Is like, we're going to whiff with Arkbo quite a bit. But Arkbo does come into play with Druidic Vow, which is nice. Um, so not expecting a, a ton here, but I wasn't expecting a ton with the... Uh, with the Dredge deck we just played and went 5-0 with, to be fair. So let's see if we can keep the luck going. We'll go over to our traditional constructed queue here and start some Naya Legends. I don't think Mox Amber is necessarily too good. Basically, all of our legends cost three through five mana, so we need to have, uh, you know, we need to already have our three drop in play by the time we get our Mox Amber. Oh, you can do it, Matthew. Good luck. Your that one went away from ranking up. All right, this is a really good aggressive opener. I wish we would have this on the play. Well, it's not going to be as good against Mono Red, but Amara into Tajik mentoring on Amara is pretty nice. Uh, there is a little bit of a nonbo with like a Johnny giving your Amara uh, vigilance. That's a little bit of an ombo, um, which is fine. But a Johnny would have been able to pump these up also more. But against Mono Red, not so much. Hmm. I feel like uh, I feel like Amara is gonna die if I play Amara. This is, of course, a bad play against Chain Whirler, but I'm just hoping they don't have Chain Whirler. Very nice. No Chain Whirler. Asper Control. You can do it. For Mono Red Crisis. Uh, 
Okay. Hmm. So, I I can't, like, if I play Amara or if I play Tajik, either one's going to die to, like, whatever burn spell. If I if I tap this thing and play a Johnny, they'll just have the Firebrand kill my Paradise Druid and then attack with these things and kill the Ajani. So, I'm going to just get a, I'm going to get a, a tap land in right now. And, ooh, there we go. Perfect. And I was going to say, and I was going to pray that they just don't kill Amara somehow. And now, I mean, that Phoenix is going to be tough to beat, sure. What? But we get to Immolating Inferno. And kill both Steamkins. And I guess I'll... Just shoot the Phoenix too instead of shooting them so that I get to attack with Amara and make a 1 1 lifelinker. <laughs> the monkey was suicidal. Hey, what's up, Merlin Bones? Oh no. Oh no, I don't have any disenchants. So I can only play one thing. So I can gain life with this. This thing can gain life too. Let's get to Zeke and play first. Make this thing a 2-2 lifelinker. And also Tajik will just like prevent other damage to other things. And this gives me a better this gives me a better Ajani down tick. Thanks, Merlin Bones. Sorry, RJ Pones with that sub. Everybody got their hype boats in chat. Thank you very much. I didn't get mine in. There we go. Thanks for that sub, RJ Pones. That's sub number... Oh, it says sub number six. Man, I, I was slacking there. So they got another Phoenix. Are they dead? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can do nine to them. Like if I if I went so I could go Huali that can't block. That's what I was thinking. There. No 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 no. Uh, I tried to put that back in my in all your ways. library. Now my Tajik's not gonna have first strike. I mean I could shock to have Tajik have first strike, but that's not happening. I tried to put that back in my in my hand and then play the forest first. I'm not gonna shock to give Tajik first strike. This will put them down to two, I'll gain six. Yeah, it's it's alright that Amara's not making a one one right now, it's fine. Dang it, that would that would have been nice <clears throat> to be able to play the forest first. Oh well. Another scar, mm. another memory.
Wow. That's bold. That's bold. They're at two. Do they have, do they hit eight points of burn? Huh. I don't, even, I don't even know what they could have. <laughs> don't even leave me a red mana. You should surrender now. Light shall always conquer darkness. All right, so we'll say Chain Whirler can't block. I mean, I, I don't know why I don't just do minus three. But it's, it's basically, I mean, like, these Phoenixes will probably kill us, so it's, I guess I should just minus three, though. Yeah, I should just be minusing three. Hmm, okay. So even if they would have left the Phoenixes back, we would have been able to tell all of them that they can't block. All right, we got game one. So we'll have Wanderer, all these Deafening Clarions, the Knight of Autumns, some Lava Coils. That was a Clutch Jaya's Immolating Inferno, but I think I'm taking it out. And... I mean, Nurse's Ruinous Blast is awesome here, if we can cast it. Gets rid of all their things, like the phoenixes and everything. So that's 71. That's a lot of expensive stuff. All right, first. It's definitely out. Like, do I just cut? I can't just cut all the mana creatures, like these clarions. All right, Vraska's going to go. And can gain some life. Sarkin's gonna go. Nissa. I mean, Nissa's not bad. I guess I'd rather have Nissa than Oketra. Um. Yeah, even though you can make some things life link, you're not gonna help too much. You can go. Lannery Storm, you can go. 64. Domri, you can go. And I'll get rid of two Druidic Vow. Because it's hard to actually untap. Like those Druidic Vows, they basically cost seven mana. And it's hard to untap with them. Domri does Domri can get rid of Steamkins if we if we have a creature, which isn't super likely. Not gonna shock. Land where Alpha is just gonna die. I wouldn't have tapped for any mana this turn anyway. Clarion is, is certainly the card that we need against this deck. We're not always going to have Clarion, though, and so times that we don't have Clarion, we're going to want Lanwar Elf to, to help power us out kind of thing. Obviously, if you have both of them, it's not great. But it's just kind of... If we if we have Clarion, we're, I'm really happy. And so even if we have Lanwar Elf with Clarion, I'll still take that because we have Clarion. But it's the games that we don't have Clarion. We need to be fast. And so we need Lanwar Elf. And 
and if Llanowarf is trading with one of their burn spells, it at least slows them down and, you know, trades with the spell. Obviously, the worst-case scenario is it dying to Chain Whirler. That's obviously the worst-case scenario of what happened here this game. We survive to Dawnbringer? <clears throat> we'll see. <clears throat> so I definitely think they have a spell. And this just prevents more damage if they do have a spell. Because they can't target me anyway. It's not like they could just shock me and have the Shalai die to the 4-4 four four or anything. <clears throat> it's like either way, the Shalai is dying and their creature is not dying. So might as well block the 4-4. Four four. Hey, what's up, London? Thanks for that sub there. Wow. Wow. Well, that had ha happened. Can we untap? If they draw a land here, we win. Literally, if they draw a land, we win. Uh, that's not land. Wow. Just never never punished. You can find the dredge list on the, the Stream Decker page. There you go, that the pop just put it in the chat. Just never punished. All right, come on, draw Urza's Ruinous Blast. Come on, deck. Urza's Ruinous Blast. No, oh, never mind. We're dead. I thought it was like two. I I missed that. I thought it was two and one on the Steam Cans. I didn't think they could cast those. Yep, that's lethal, because we trade with those three, and we take four. Man, all we need to do is them to brick for one turn, because then I would have been able to play the Huatli, gain five life, and still have, like, that Lyra back on D. Where do you better than Chandra? Nah. I'm just gonna hope my opponent doesn't have frenzy this time. I don't want to play Cinder Vines with it only being good against four cards in their whole deck. I have the two Knight of Autumns. Just hope that hope that a they don't have. Uh, they don't hit Frenzy, and if they do, maybe I have the Knight of Autumn.
Uh, sorry to hear that, Matthew. Yeah, don't don't let me know if you're close to love ranking up, because then yeah, then you then you jinx it. It's leapfrog to the land war elf. I played the land first. I was hoping they'd hit two lands there. Well, Shalai is perfect against the Ashino Pyromancer. Even though we had to shock to play Shalai, so like they get to do that two damage. What? They just played the land from hand? Uh. I can't target. Can't target me over here. I may not understand what they're supposed to do. All right, so you have to click on a player or a planeswalker. You can't click on this player. There's no there's no planeswalkers. You can't click on this one. So you have to find another player. Where's another player? Click on another player. Yeah, I think our opponent's just new to the game and everything. Yeah. I think they're just new and, you know, Red Deck Wins is a, is a good suggestion for new players and everything. But yeah, so I'm not... There you go. Well, it, it just automatically did it for him or her. Them. So do I want to shock to play Huatles? Or just go coil elf, not shock? I'm kinda like not shocking. I guess I don't really need to I guess I don't need to coil that thing. No, alright. Well now I wish I would have just played Huatles. I I changed my mind there. I guess I had a lot a lot of time to think about that turn. Don't chain whirler me. So I'm definitely not blocking with Shalai and making it so one burn spell kills my Shalai. Definitely like just not blocking Sh with Shalai at all, ever. Alright, good. Not not three damage burn spell chain whirler. We just saw a lot of Rekindling Phoenixes. Game 1, we saw multiple Rekindling Phoenixes. So I want to save Coil. Alright, Rivale, take care. I was not blocking there, by the way, with that Shalai. Again. Go, my feast. I can block with this three three because this this one you know has hex proof, so I can just block with the three three. Let's keep on making some more three threes. That's game. That's game. There are two kinds of mages. Those Come, who lose. Sing the song of fame. That's game. The wanderer's got that huge whip. What's up, Kurtash? Yeah, that's a combo. Prevent the pre prevent the damage to Shalai, and you also can't target anything else. <laughs> Just everything's hexproof. 
One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Let's let's cast it on our way out the door. Cast Val for five. Good game. Oh no no! I was typing the good game and then I hit decline. Uh, I deserve that. <laughs> uh, it was just gonna be three lands. That was it. it was just three lands. Whoops. We are 1-0, not 0-1. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's the next level strat. So you have to say good game whenever they're casting a spell like that. So then while you try to type good game, you just hit decline instead. That was good. <laughs> okay. 1-0 with Nia Legends. No, I'm doing the the competitive constructed event. You can see the the decks that I play in the rank has the R next to it. The decks, the donation decks I I play in the other event. All right, play first. Yeah. Sam looks really weird. Have you ever seen Gideon, Dovin, and Nissa together? Because I haven't. So the next deck we play, the four-color Dread Horde, we'll play that over in ranked. <laughs> oh, that's a good call, Orisonic. We need a clip channel in the Discord. Good call. Good call there. Yeah, our Discord. If you if you don't know about our Discord channels, everybody can join. Uh, we have a, a ton of different rooms in there, uh, talking all all sorts of different magic, different formats, uh, different tournament types, all that kind of stuff. Um, let's see. Let's get this Gideon in play. So that's for everybody, and yeah, that's a good good idea for a clip channel in there. Together, we can banish evil from this plane. Prepare for battle. We need that land war off indestructible. We will not fail. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Ow. <laughs> that was nothing. <laughs> I don't actually have any forests. Otherwise, I could do like that Nissa plus Dovin. They would need it. Yeah, they need another blue source for a mass manipulation. But that would be bad. My deck is not good against mass manipulation, admittedly. We have a we have eleven forests in the deck. Melody. Wow, that's rude. That's pretty bad. Oh no. We are but moats in a vast multiverse. All right, well we're dead. Oh, I guess it, I yeah, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that that I should have should have just tapped my root-bound crag for mana before they took it. So it would be tapped, so they wouldn't be able to attack with it. 
Save me three life here. Another day, villain. Hmm. So going with the Lyra first, because Lyra can pressure these Planeswalkers better in the air, even though we don't get the value of the extra 4-4. We just need to be able to attack next turn and, and get through. I don't know if it's Lyra or Lyra. I've heard so many people say both, like either one. So like I, I don't know which ones are right. I don't. <clears throat> I don't know. Harness the elements. Is this actual Mitchin? Like in chat? We're playing against Mitchin. Yeah, no, no Tristani. We that's what we have like the the Nissa and everything in instead. All right, get rid of the blue source. We're almost dead, but not quite dead. Secrets manifest before you. Not quite dead. That's good. That's a good one. Give me two blockers. Okay. They must not have had anything good under the tutus. My plan was to actually minus on one of the tutus, like one of the Ugin tutus. That was my plan. Because uh, you just block like the three threes and everything. Yeah, that was a great card to draw there. And then I was, of course, going to attack and kill Ugin with the uh, Lyra. So Defeating Clarion seems like it's awesome here. They have a bunch of mana creatures, and Nyssa makes a whole lot of creatures. Clarion does seem pretty sweet. But Clarion also kills a lot of my stuff. Um, I haven't been playing, paying too close attention to the Modern Horizon spoilers. With, I'm just a, you know, I'm a standard player, really, so. Um, yeah, I've had a great record today. Yeah, Dredge went 5-0 for us. Beat a lot of good decks with it. So if I do play Clarions, what am I cutting? I guess that would mean I'd have to cut my own Nyssa. Two Nisses and a Dovin. <clears throat> Man, 
and mass manipulation is going to be like impossible to beat. We've been a little unfortunate with like always having the buddy lands and not the shock lands. So this hand looks really cool. Who knows if it'll win or not, but it looks really cool. So yeah, Urza's Blast doesn't get rid of like the 3-3 three, three lands, but it would get rid of Hydroid Krasis and Mana Creatures. I was definitely thinking about Hydroid Krasis being a problematic card. So how, because of its size. Yay, Fibble Thib. I approve. <laughs> spark Double Shalai. Man, we were doing a lot of Spark Double Shalai yesterday. It was awesome. Getting people in that hard lock. Oh no. They get another Fibble Thib. Ah, Incubation Druid. That makes sense too. <laughs> Ugh, no lands. You think I'm a crazy beast? Where do you see my mates? <laughs> How about it, boys? Well, we got infinite mana. At least we have Oketra that can shoot Krasis out of the sky, right? Like that's that's a thing, right? Our actions determine the course. I will rid you of your corruption. Yeah, Dredge was a lot of fun to play. Yeah. Yuck. Come on, lands. Land, please. Tilt. Let the feel the so obviously getting Incubation Druid out of here. So now they can't cast Meteor Golem unless they draw a land. But that's the good news. Bad news is my Domery is very vulnerable. Hmm. Land, please. Okay. What's that thing? That thing's a 3-3? Three, three? So they'll play that. Obviously, they kill Shalai. And then I kill it with Oketra. With Domri fight. Do not pity me. For chaos, in it, Ravnica deserves its demise. Uh, 
Hooray! Two no. Hey, okay. Come here. This is my cat, Hawkeye. You good little kitty? Ugh, we're going to have to mulligan this one. No lands. Hey, CO. <laughs> uh, well, we don't, we don't actually do anything yet. The triple legendary sorcery draw. Because you, you can't cast these legendary sorceries unless you have a legendary creature or a planeswalker in play. Cat stream. Grixis. Well, Ruinous Blast is really bad against Grixis, so I'm glad we have Immolating Inferno. Maybe we get to untap with Aurelia, and then what? I get to. Vow for three. Vowing for three is not special. Meditate and prepare. I am a god. One yeah, of definitely not untapping. For your cause. Paradise Druid, not legendary. Famously not legendary. No, we're three subs away from opening a pack. Um... Hawkeye okay, looks a lot bigger because he's next to the camera, but he's not really that big. Alright, Nickel Balls, Dragon Gods got me. It's just a bunch of spells I can't cast. So, I don't really have a sideboard here for the matchup either. I just want to hopefully draw better. And not have only lands and legendary sorceries. Um, yeah. Could play Knight of Autumn here instead of like one of the vows. Nah. Vow is a really important card to pull ahead in games that we can pull it off. Hmm.
Didn't really like. I don't like mulliganing against the the Grixis deck. That's all about uh, you know trading one for one and all that kind of stuff. It's a, it's about resource. Like their deck is all about resource denial. So I d didn't want to mulligan. But I just couldn't really keep that. Please don't have Cry of the Carnarium. That's fine. Yeah, Tajik would have been a nice one that last game whenever they had the Planeswalkers. <clears throat> I wonder if they minus. Huh. Everybody just snap minuses whenever I just get to take it out. I was not prepared for this. All right, go to G, go. We're, we have protection from Angrass Rampage here with the Lana Elf. No, my Oketra. I don't understand the order they put they put them in your graveyard. I'm gonna figure that out. Like our second card down. Ended up being. I know, I know. Sit back and watch it burn. That worked pretty well. I march into battle as your champion. I believe in you. Like our, sec our second card down was like the the fourth card on top. Like I don't I don't know how they put put those cards there. Oh, glad you're liking the playlist, Dosed Waffles. <laughs> I've fought worse. Top card. It's no problem. Fire can't solve. I believe in you, friend. Definitely, that's pretty great. I wrote an entire treatise on there are many who have turned failure. weakness into a virtue. Oh no! Oh no! We're done here. All right, this is why I kept all four druidic vows in. Let's vow for six here. I am not quite indestructible. Hmm. Not quite. Looking to elevate yourself? Money. Perhaps a pair of stilts. Yep. That was kind of the turn that I needed. I guess I'm looking for more black mana. I guess I have, I have one more turn for Druidic Vow. Okay. I'll get rid of the Dovin. Whew. 
We did it. We did it. Here we go, six. Ugh. Four lids. Well, at least we had four lands and two land or elf for our, our next cards. We got rid of all those. I'm not proud of. Keep your friends close. Kill your enemies. <laughs> I won't forgive unfortunately, this. it does set up our next Druidic Vow to be even better, but unfortunately I don't have the Legend anymore. If I would have kept Dovin, it would have forced them to Contempt the Dovin at least. Dang. Should just be game. They got me. I gotta be like the Kefnet out there with the Contempt Ugin. We have nothing. All right, two and one. Sometimes Vow is amazing, and sometimes it lets you down. The game one, we all we had were Vows and no Planeswalkers, and then game two, we got to fire off that Vow, but... Yeah. All bricks. All right, Storm, have a good night. See you tomorrow. I think our land war elf will survive. Maybe it will. If you're new to the channel, I'm here each and every day from 3 to 10 Eastern. So always here on the channel here and um, twitch.tv slash of course. And it's also, all the videos go up on YouTube as well. Ooh, I had caps lock on. Mono blue. Or maybe maybe Drake's. Probably mono blue though. So if you want to see any of the replays, including the dredge deck that we just got done playing, that's that's up on the YouTube channel already. I don't care about Vraska. So Aurelia or Shalai. I guess I would rather have... Neither one blocks particularly well. Shalai's better to have on the battlefield for like later on that we can just start spending six mana. So I guess I'd rather have Aurelia countered over Shalai. No surprise there. Jai's Immolating Inferno is positioned better than it has been in the past uh, right now because of, like, with all the, like, the different Planeswalkers, there's usually a lot of different targets for it. So it is positioned well. So yeah, Shalai does not match up well against Tempest Jin nor Terramander. Uh, so definitely hoping to draw the another white source here and be able to slam Dawnbringer. That's certainly what I was hoping for, but... Oh, well. So they need to attack to keep the Curious Obsession on the Terramander. If they have the sixth land here and then are able to adapt to Terramander, am I double blocking the 6-6? Basically trading Dawnbringer for a six, for the 
six six terramander? And I think the answer is yes. Yeah, I barely see mono blue anymore also. Alright, so they're just sending a trickster in to die. Oh no, they're just not they're just getting rid of that, which that's good for me. So I could just start activating Shalai, but instead, I'm going to try this here with them only having the two cards in hand. I mean, this just basically wins the game on the spot, so we'll try winning the game on the spot. I mean, winning the game is very valuable, so we'll try it. Didn't get there. Just gotta activate Shalai. We're not in a great spot. So we're going to take a turn off of Activating Shalai to try to get some more pressure out there. Where, like, next turn, maybe I can just start attacking with, like, the Tajik and Paradise Druid. I guess they'll only be four power, and Terra Manor will be five toughness. So I guess I have to wait a turn. But at least that gives me something to look forward to pressure-wise, like, now that I can just keep Activating Shalai. No, we're in a really rough spot because like dive down just dive down just like destroys me. But now we have Tajik and Paradise Druid in play. I we're doing better. Yeah, now dive down doesn't destroy us anymore. They need like another island and yeah, no, we're we're doing yeah, we're doing better now. That we got to survive those couple of turns. Now we're doing good. But like Trickster. Trickster, I guess, is the the thing that kills me now. Yeah, Trickster. Does Trickster just kill me? They have, I guess they have a dive down they're using here. Or they just want their Terramander to die. That's huge. I don't die to, I don't die to Trickster anymore. So 
I can just attack. I'm just going to attack out next turn, right? We're going to gain 17. Yeah, let's just attack out. Good thing we had a really a counter to not Shalai. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I cannot activate it and replay it. Uh, I'll just replay it. Could have definitely been dead before, though. If they would have waited a little bit with their Terramander, would have already been dead. So we're putting them down to one, so they have any answer for the Shalai. We are dead. I guess I guess I need to activate the Shalai to make them block with a Tempest Gin or a Terramander. Correct, I have not played a land. I guess I need I didn't I didn't do that that part of the math. I guess I need to activate. So I was thinking just like play it back on defense, but honestly activating makes them block with one of these. And now they just have counterspell. No counterspell? No counterspell. deserve whatever I feel suits them. All right, they get one more turn for a trickster or an into the royal. Dang. Should have activated July. I guess I would have been dead. They would have blocked the Terramander. With that land drop, they would have had the 14, so I would have been dead if I activated July. Ugh. Couldn't quite get there. They had the double removal spell. So yeah, this isn't a matchup we see too often. Um, I don't have like a whole lot for it. Like I guess I have Clarions and obviously Lava Coils, but don't really have anything besides Lava Coil. Uh, I don't want to rely on Druidic Val resolving. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to take out this Vraska. Take out this Ajani. Um, Nissa doesn't really seem like it does anything. We're taking out too many things. I guess I'm going to try to have Blast resolve because Blast just gets rid of... like Blast is like a, a you win the game kind of card. And I guess we're going to play Deafening Clarions. Maybe we have Knight of Autumn destroy Curious Obsessions. I think there's a better chance that Blast resolves than Inferno resolves. And Inferno is just basically Clarion, so we'll get rid of that. Um, 62. Sargon can make some flying blockers. Oketra does not. Get rid of Oketra. Get rid of Huali. Huali can do some stuff against Mono Blue. Still gonna cut it though. Yes, yeah, so this is where we'll blast. All right, keep. More, okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was a really good game. Is it viable to all run Blast Zone in a three color deck? You don't. Basically, you need to like make sure that you have enough color, like colored mana sources, depending on your deck, because it depends on like how color intensive your three color deck is. If you need like double of two different colors, kind of thing, like early, and all that kind of stuff, it, it depends on the deck. Um, you may want to run like an extra land and kind of treat Blast Zone as like a way to like make sure you don't flood out, but then as a card that's also. But then as, as a card that that's also kind of a spell. Maybe if you're like debating between 25 and 26 lands, like Blast Zone can be your 26 land kind of thing. Would have been better as Tajik. I don't even know if that's true. Actually. Whew. Well... Sorry, Paradise Druid. Because I'm doing this right now because I have to use the treasure because the treasure gets exiled also. It's a non-land... It's a... Legendary non-land permanent. Wait, can I play Domri? I guess I could... Suck at main. I could play Domri and Blast. But it's too late now because I already got the trigger with Captain Lannery Storm. Get rid of all those things. Um, I don't. Maybe somebody in chat knows a good resource to find best of one deck list. I, I don't. Um. I think Goldfish just has... Actually, I think Goldfish has the best of one section. Now that I think about it. Yeah, they call it Arena Standard. Try there. For me, it's just business as usual. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. What know you of dragons? Behold! Dragons. Oh, wait, I didn't put the... Sorry, I didn't put the leak in the chat. No, my dragon. That's rude. That's really rude. Listen to them roar. The dragon does not lose. Wow, that's great. That's really great. All right, get rid of those. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> Take that. All right, so we're going to have game three on the draw. Not a place we want to be. Yeah, not really a place that we want to be. That's where we're, that's where we are. Yeah, Captain Lannery Storm smashed. Well, hopefully all of our stuff do doesn't get countered. Basically, hopefully no 
Curious Obsession. Lava Coil is a perfect draw, though. So we can have that. If there is a Curious Obsession, we can Coil. So they have to have, like, Obsession plus Protection. Alright, so they get to Cycle. At least. So they're going to have four cards in hand. Moving forward here. Yeah, I think Sil yeah, Silent Gravestone says you can't target things in graveyards, right? So that, that should counter Command the Dread Horde. Um, Hawkeye just really wants the pets right now. It's all about those pets. I stopped petting him, and he's like, what are you doing? Why'd you stop petting me? So playing Paradise Druid allows me to play Dawnbringer the next turn. I'm not sure if we're going to want to play Dawnbringer the next turn. Nope, doesn't look like it. And I would rather Amara get countered than Tajik. That's fine. So I think we outrace them. Yeah, like Tajik, Paradise Druid outraces Amara. Or like, yeah, sorry. Tajik, Amara, Paradise Druid outraces Tempest Jin, Trickster, right? No, it doesn't. No, not not with these life totals and them attacking first. No, never mind. We don't outrace them. So we need one of these two spells to resolve. We can play around Spell Pierce. Ooh, resolved. I was gonna say we could try to wait wait for another land to try to play around Spell Pierce. If that's like their counter magic. Oh come on, land. Okay, well no spell pierce. Well, that's game. Sorry, Paradise Druid. You could exile the hero. That's game, Hawkeye. That's game. GG, three and one. Oh yeah. Play with the pen. Rawr. Is this a keep or a snap keep? I guess it's just a keep that I asked the question. Sky Zoe with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for that sub there. Oh, we just had, yeah, had some good luck today, Boomer. Oh, no. Wow, Growth Walker. That card's scary. No Urza's Ruinous Blast, game one, to help bail us out. Opponent's gonna go listen to that entire Alanis Morissette album after that game. Chandra. It's my turn. It's unlikely our opponent is just two colors. So it's most likely, you know, Abzan or Bant. Less likely Naya. Maybe they're just two colors. 
Oh no. Vivian. You can't stop. Well, I'm definitely nature. glad they played Vivian before attacking. Before attacking Chandra. Because I can have <clears throat> the damage go to Vivian now. That all you got? Uh, I've seen squirrels hit harder. Hmm. This is just gonna be bad for you. And I can't quite kill the Vivian. You will feel the lick of my flames. Hmm. So I tick up, hit Vivian for four. No. We'll make the dragon. Oh wait, making the dragon's a bad idea because the dragon dies. Sometimes right, never mind. I was just again. focused on the Jade Light Ranger. Never mind, making dragon bad idea. Should have ticked Sarkin up and attacked Vivian for four. Ah, there's black mana. So this looks to be a Command the Dread Horde deck. <sighs> Alright, so I sacrifice Paradise Druid to kill Vivian. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. So then Chandra dies. in this story is almost over. We're just going to kill the Jade Light Ranger with Huatles. You shall be erased from history. It's basically a trade. Both of those there. Not dead yet. Gross. I don't know if I'll ever deal with this Wild Growth Walker without having Urza's Ruinous Blast. It's the card I need in this matchup. Yeah, Blast is in the sideboard, unfortunately. But don't need me anymore. we can... Okay. We can't just kind of wait, wait it out and try to get this Druidic Bow to be as big as possible. Gonna kill us. Yeah, I can't. I can't hit anything. All right, so good old Abzan. So yeah, this card is awesome. Let's get that thing in here. Uh, this can get exile big wild growth walker. Basically, it's just all about Urza's Ruinous Blast. All about that card.
Hmm. Taking out Sarkin, I don't feel like... I don't know, I don't feel like I really want Sarkin. Is pretty cool. Can make three threes the block all day. Um, and I guess I'm going to cut a vow since I'm bringing in other legendary sorceries. Guess we probably shouldn't have too many of those. I couldn't cast Kamal. Well, I didn't. I didn't play Kamal Druidic Vow because I couldn't cast it. So, was not allowed to cast the card. So it's kind of hard to play it. I did not have a legendary creature or planeswalker in play, so I could not cast it until like the. Until the very end. Let's add but at that point, to your record like after after success. you play, after I would have played Captain Lannery Storm, I couldn't I couldn't do an X big enough to do anything. Pursuing creativity. Defy convention. Alright, so we draw another land. We play Nyssa. And then we get to Druidic Vow for a bunch. Hmm. Contempt's annoying. The fault is not in our stars, but yeah. in ourselves. If I play Oketra or Nyssa, they get to contempt whichever one I play. And then they have good at then they'd have like good attack on Domri. And then I'm like sitting on no legends. Well, maybe they don't have black mana. Power surges through these lands. Behold, nature's true power. Curious. Your defects don't seem to bother you. They can of course just block with branch walker and does nothing. But still testing them, maybe maybe they just don't block. Well, we d I didn't know that they, they don't have a second black for contempt in their hand. I'm assuming if they keep contempt on top that they would just have another black source. Like, that's a fair assumption. Considering they had, you know, like, five cards in hand and they were keeping it on top, I would assume that they would want to keep a card that they could cast on top. The facts can't be denied. I am beaten. Oh, their spells being one more. I didn't consider that with Dovin, though. That I did not consider. The land shall conquer you. So we have four, five, six, seven. So let's just Druidic Vow for five. A Johnny, land, land, Domery, another Nyssa. Let's go ahead and pay two life. Oh, Keep new Nissa. Uh, one, two, three. Need another white source. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Come and destroy. Ketra. Okay, 
Um, let's make our stuff bigger. Turn back. So if they if they get to Contempto Ketra, then they can do some damage here on the walkers. <laughs> yeah, Druidic Vow is awesome. Next turn, we could do it again. Oh, man, next turn is, is going to be really sweet if, if we get to have all these lands and Nyssa and everything in play. Yeah, Feather and Dreadhorde Arcanist have a good... They have a good working relationship. <clears throat> Yeah, this deck is as insane as it looks. <laughs> yeah, this deck's pretty insane. And sometimes it works. Sometimes it works all the time. All right, going to game three. We have a Lava Coil, I suppose. Maybe we'll find some mana creatures for a little bit of acceleration. <sighs> they were going down to 6 too, so presumably their ha hand isn't spectacular. That's a 3-2. I'm going to coil it. At 2-1, I'm still going to coil it. So I'm going to go Lannery Storm next turn and then start dropping these. And so I'm just going to use my mana this turn. Pass. There we go. Thank you. Now we get to Nyssa next turn. And then Druidic Vow the turn after. Ooh. I could just Tajik this turn. Tajik Lannery Storm's a nice combo. Nah, I should go bigger. However... Use a Contempt there. Alright, so my plan was just to drop down the Huatli. They just used a Contempt. That probably means no more Contempt. However, now they don't they don't have a Chupacabra, right? Because they would have just chupacabra -ed. That's something if I, if I make a land in a 3-3, they could just Chupacabra it. That's fine, whatever. Rise, my elemental friend. Nah. All right. What a glorious day for Samana. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. Tajik does protect protect the rootbound crag from uh, Tulsimer. You know, if we saw Tulsimer last game, if they have Tulsimer again, oh, that thing's harder to kill. I mean, I could, f I could deal one damage to it and fight it. So you could do that. Or uh, what's Druidic Vow right now? Druidic Vow is five. I should probably kill this Dawnbringer. Yeah. I should probably just kill this Dawnbringer. Listen. You think they cheer for you? <laughs> That's the sound of a stampede coming straight at ya. 
That thing's really scary. Witness my glory. Witness my fame. Because if my Druidic Vow and don't do very well, then they could, you know, they have like that thing to attack at me and everything. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. Oh, would the land not die? Oh, because that's non-combat damage. Oh, I, yeah, I could have just died. Yeah, yeah, y'all are right. My bad, my bad. I didn't consider the non-combat damage part there. My B. No so one, two, three, four, five. So it's either five. Yeah, let's go five. Hmm. Not great. Especially, my two best cards just went to the graveyard. I don't know, which one's the new one? How am I supposed to know which one the new one is? There we go, enter the battlefield this turn. Yeah, keep that. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. We did, we did, you know, triple ramp, but... Our two best cards are like Blast and Vow, and we just put a Blast and a Vow in the graveyard, the so that's unfortunate. Like yeah, so. Um, could have kept Tajik alive. And then Tajik could have killed Vivian. smells rotten wait all right deck new. give us another good top deck or one good top deck my newest friend. help me out here messed i messed up the, the tajik part admittedly i got infinite cards though can we draw another druidic vow nope Go and feast on their flesh. Ravnica deserves its demise. At least they let me kill that Wow Growth Walker instead of just playing Wow Growth plus Jade Light. That's nice. Balance. Yeah, I've played the four color Dreadhorde deck before. It, it's really strong. It's really good. Uh, the the only time I played it played five matches in Mythic and won them all except for a mirror. I lost a mirror. We won the rest of them. It's it's certainly a good deck. Come sing the song of fame. We are the many. Well, Watley's trying over here. Watley and Domri. The wild they're trying. My shield. Vivian's trying hard too, though. Yeah, it was really unfortunate that Druidic Vow got rid of... Got rid of those two cards. And now since then, we've drawn... Go and feast on their two, land, two, two land and two land war off have been our last four draws. That's not... Those are four bricks. That's not good. Come to me. <laughs> we did get to Urza's Ruinous Blast mono blue twice in one game, that's true. We are almost... We're almost out of these 
Like our planeswalkers are almost extinct though, with like Tulsimer fighting the 2 1. They can attack and kill something. Maybe even kill both of them. Yeah, if only Tajik was still alive. Honestly, like that was a huge that was a huge mistake. If Tajik was still alive, they wouldn't have been able to like sur like their Vivian would not have been able to survive. It's so, like maybe they don't get to play the Vivian. Maybe they would have had to, you know, lead with like a, a Jade Light at the time or something. That was definitely a huge mistake. All right, so Huali's dying. No matter how I block, Huali dies. So I might as well just eat two of their creatures. We can draw Druidic Vow. Kamal's Druidic Vow. Ugh. Now our deck is just just hating us ever since I made that mistake. We haven't drawn we haven't drawn any spells besides Land War Elves in forever. Have at it, boys. Cause even before that all these land it's, comes. it's been at least f four four lands, two Land War Elf for like six in a row, but it could be more than that. Who knows? Yep. My deck's telling me I'm un unworthy. Uh, 9, 12, 15, 18. So I'll block the legends. Take 12, have the Dawnbringer kill me next turn. Vivian ult kill me. Everything else kill me. Draw more lands. Dang, well we've been running really, really well today. You know, we have to have a, a game where I run bad. I make a I make one bad mistake and then <clears throat> and don't draw a single spell like the rest of the game besides the land world. Now that was that was at least five lands and two land war elf, at least. I don't remember what what I drew before that. But the last the last seven draws were five lands, two land war elf. Ugh. That was my last seven draw steps. Ugh, sweet games, though. Yeah, I think this this deck still played better than the last time we played at Nia Legends. Definitely played pretty well. Um, I like having all four of the Dru Druidic Vows in here because that card's just incredible. But yeah, played pretty well. Some real some good games and everything. So awesome. Take the 3-2 there. All right, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Um... But that's it for Naya Legends. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button over there on YouTube as well. But yet again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you.